Hello and welcome to the fourth episode of the Arsenal career mode here on FIFA 23. We are back in the 2022 season trying to do what Arsenal couldn't do and win the league. Looking at the league standings, we are not exactly where we want to be just yet, but we are getting there. We are now in fourth place, so top four is where we want to be. We do want to end up being in that first place spot. Manchester United having a fantastic start to the season, kind of like Arsenal did in real life where they were winning pretty much all their games and then only drawing if they didn't get a win. So that's where we're looking to be. We do have four losses already early on in the season, but we are winning a lot of our games. So that's always a plus. Right now, our next game is against PSV. So we need to win this to tie them actually at the top of the group. We need the goal difference to be, I believe, three goals for us to go into first place. That's going to be a tough game. I believe it is at PSV for this game, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we are away at PSV. So it's always going to be a tough game. Hopefully we can come out with a win on this one and then we will face... Liverpool Wolves and Manchester City as well. Depending on how this game goes, we might have to play the Zurich game as well, but we'll see how it goes. Get right into it. All right, moving into the game here against PSV. We do have a slightly rotated side yet again. We're going to start Nelson over uh, Saka. We're going to start Nketiah at the top. And Smith Rowe is going to come into the left attacking mid position. I kind of like him there. He's a little bit slower, so he's not really a great option out wide. So I'm going to play him in the left midfield position. Tierney comes in for Zinchenko, Kivior in for Gabriel, Tomiyasu in for Ben White, and Matt Turner in goal. PSV's team is pretty strong. Thorgan Hazard, Fabio Silva, a very young team, but a very capable team of winning this game. We should beat them. In theory, we are better than them. You never know how it's going to go. So let's see it. Tommy Asu putting the pressure on, forces a bad pass. Tommy Asu on a little bit of a break. We're going to look to Nelson. He is unable to get it to him. PSV are able to intercept that pass. PSV pushing forward here. Savanovic takes a shot. Matt Turner is able to collect that fairly comfortably. I wouldn't say he was ever too worried about that, but he did have to dive for it. Every team you play against plays this press. And some teams it works out, some teams it doesn't. Smith Rowe's gonna look out here to Nelson. Nelson's gonna look back post. Might be able to find Enketia. Enketia shoots blocked by Teze, close to going into the net. Givior is still making a run forward. We do not need that. Now our defense is going to be open. Luckily Saliba is able to get back and block the shot. We're gonna cut it back in. We're actually gonna look down the line now for Smith Rowe, making a great run. We're gonna look inside to find Jorginho. Jorginho shoots and it's in off of well, Skagley, but it will go as a Jorginho goal as it was on target. Jorginho finally finding his shooting boots. Smith Rowe with a great pass into Jorginho. The keeper almost gets to it, but Jorginho is able to find the back of the net. Goes back to Tierney, and we find Martinelli out on the left, and Martinelli is one of the speedier players. We're going to try to shoot it near post. Martinelli chooses to go with the inside or the outside of his foot to go near post, and the keeper makes the save. Odegaard's going to send it in here, looking for Saliba in the middle. Saliba is able to get to it. And the keeper makes a save. Nelson here on the edge of the box. Tries to go with his left foot. Probably never going to get to it. Saliba going to try to find Nketi here. And Nketi goes for the shot. And it's really not too far away. But it is wide of the post. Smith Rowe here. Deep in the... Deep uh, in the field. Takes a shot. Uh, pretty comfortable save for the keeper. But figured I might as well go for it. Smith Rowe in here to Nketiah. Nketiah able to find Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe shoots it, and it is right at the keeper. He palms it out for a corner for us, but not the best shot from Smith Rowe there. Martinelli swinging it in, looking for Kiriar. Kiriar gets ahead to it. Again, saved by the keeper, and then he is able to collect. Smith Rowe able to, uh, not able to keep it in, and that's going to be halftime. Tierney cuts back, finds Nketiah. Smith Rowe finds Odegaard. Odegaard with the shot, and it goes wide over the post. And a great through ball here to Till. Great shot, but a save by Turner. An equally as good save by Turner. Tierney's going to find Smith Rowe back again. Cutting through. Od Odegaard's making a great run. We're going to try to get it to him. We do. But the shot from Odegaard is saved again by the keeper. Odegaard with a pass through. And Enketia is through on goal. This should be a goal. And a terrible shot to the keeper's left side. Keeper's right side. And he makes an easy save. Xavi tries to go for a worldie. But Turner is there to collect very comfortably. Shot had very little power on it. Relatively sloppy game. But we come away with a 1-0 victory. And like I said before in the Tottenham game from last episode... We'll take 1-0 victories all day. They're very scrappy. At the end of the day, 3 points is 3 points. That win does put us level on points with PSV at 10, but since their goal difference is better than ours, we are still in second place. But we are through to the next round or the, the knockout stages. Uh, we are 4 points ahead of Buttle Glenth with one game left, so we are through there. We're focused on the Prem mostly this year. Second place is obviously a little bit disappointing in the Europa League in our group, but we'll take it. Next game here is against Liverpool, battle of third and fourth place. Let's go ahead and get right into it and see how we get on. All right, and the squad is looking like this for the game here against Liverpool. 
we're actually going to start Trossard out on the left. And Martinelli is just a little bit tired, so we're going to bring him on as a sub later on in the game, more than likely. Jesus up top, Odegaard, Xhaka, Jorginho. I'm hoping Partey comes back from his injury soon, but Jorginho's doing pretty well in that spot, I would say. Back line's all the same. Hopefully we can come away with the game, uh, with the win here. Osala is a very dangerous player that we do not want him to get. We do not want him to get going in this game. Jesus finds Saka. Is, is Saka onside? He is offside. It must have been by just a little bit. Already looking for Trossard through. Trossard finds Jesus. Jesus is on a little bit of a break, but he might get caught here. We're going to hit it on the ground with his weaker foot, and it goes wide of the post. Jesus out here to Trossard. Trossard back into Jesus. Jesus through to Odegaard. Odegaard on his left foot. Should be able to get it into the bottom right corner. He tries, but Allison is able to get down. Not a lot of power on behind that shot, so that might have been why Allison was able to get there. And, of course, you know, he's Allison. Up for the header was Jesus, unable to even really get close to it. Uh, Gabriel is not exactly who he won on the edge of the box, and he is dispossessed. Salah, moving forward, brings it back to Arthur. Arthur, edge of the box to Tiago. Tiago, oh, is going to be free. <sighs> it switched to Saliba, and I was telling it to switch to Ben White so that he would step up. And I didn't realize it until... Very late on. Thiago with the... I mean, Saliba, I just moved him right out of the way. That's only on me as a player of FIFA. I am terrible. Liverpool 1-0 lead right before the break. A dangerous tackle by Fabinho. And he will be getting a yellow card for it as well. Uh, not a lot of time left. We're just going to hit it up to Xhaka here. Oh, never mind. And that just didn't work out at all, unfortunately. And now they may be on a break. I don't know if the ref will allow it, but it looks like he is going to, even though they're passing it backwards. There we go. All right, that's the end of the first half. Down one to nothing against Liverpool at home is never the spot you want to be in, but that's the spot we're in now, so we need to find a way to, to get back into this. We have not been very good about... Uh, regaining control of the game once we give up a goal. So hopefully this game will be a little bit different. Saliba tries to pass it up to Jesus. The ball was never going to reach him. Salah out to Robertson. Robertson tries to get in across. Odegaard with a perfect through ball to Bukayo Saka here. Saka is going to make a break for it. And he's going to put it into the left side of the net. We're all squared up at one. Bukayo Saka, that's exactly what we're looking for from him. He's been quiet the past several games, it feels like. But he slots it past Allison into that left side of the net. Perfect finish. And Jurgen Klopp is definitely disappointed in that, but Mikel Arteta will not be. Saka, oh, he's going to be through again. Odegaard's going to find him. Might not be able to get a, a shot on goal on this one. Oh, ball roll. Maybe he will. I took a little bit too heavy of a touch there, and he's still in front of them. Salah lays it off. Jata, I believe. And then Jata tries to lay it back. He's unsuccessful. Very close. I'm going to get the ball to Trossard here. He's going to find Jesus. I'm going to cut back a little bit. Bring it to Zinchenko. Trossard's going to be able to find Jesus through here. Jesus is unmarked for a second. Shoots it, but is blocked by Allison. Time is just ticking away. Try to get it out with Jaka. Gabriel makes the block. Odegaard's there to pick it up, and we might be on the break. And he might be able to send Saka through again. Bukayo Saka. Able to cut inside. Get it to Odegaard. Odegaard tries to find Saka again and is unable to get there. Five minutes left in the game. That does give us an opportunity to get our subs in, though. Odegaard and Jesus are out for Martinelli and Nketiah. Some fresh legs up top might do us some good, but we do only have a few seconds left in this game. So we might not just have enough time to. Saliba with the excellent tackle on Luis Diaz. Out for a corner. We are not going to have the opportunity to go forward ourselves, but a 1-1 draw might not be the worst case scenario. Ben Wyatt clears. We are just going to lump this down the field with Leandro Trossard. 
and that is going to be the game unfortunate that we didn't come out with a win there we had a couple of opportunities in that second half to definitely score again and we just couldn't convert but Bukayo Saka Mr. Starboy himself is able to get a goal for us to level the game up at one and that will be the final score moving on to the game against Wolves now Wolves team is definitely looking pretty decent they have Yuri and Timber who we are going to try to sign next year they signed him earlier in this transfer window they still have Diego Costa and Raul Jimenez up top in this career mode right now which is definitely a dangerous duo uh, their bench is definitely not great, so they won't have a lot of options coming off the bench, but our team is going to look a little bit rotated here. Uh, we're not playing many of our usual 11. Fortunately, it's only been three games since, or three days since the game against Liverpool, and then it's only three more days until we play Manchester City. So trying to rest up some of our players. They're a little bit tired after the Liverpool game. Trossard is starting again. Jorginho starting again. Ramsdale, of course, we're going to keep him in goal, but the rest of the squad is a little bit rotated, so hopefully it's still, it should still be strong enough to get a dub here um, against Wolves, but Let's go ahead and find out how we get on. Ball out here to Raul Neto. He takes a shot. Never really going to trouble Ramsdale with that one, but it was a shot on goal nonetheless. Smith Rowe is going to be able to find Nketiah through. Nketiah, does he have the speed to get past Yuri and Timber with a fantastic tackle to stop Eddie Nketiah? And, that, and that, that's exactly what we're going to be looking for from him next season if we can sign him. Unfortunately, I wish he would not do that against us here in this game. Fabio Vieira finds Reese Nelson out here. We're actually going to look towards middle of the field Emil Smith Rowe volleys it in the middle of the box and is able to get it past Jose saw what a fantastic finish by Emil Smith Rowe here and what a fantastic cross by Reese Nelson as well I, I really wasn't expecting him to get it so accurate to him and then what a finish by Emil Smith Rowe I mean volleys as you know are the the hardest way to score and Emil Smith Rowe makes it look easy Jose saw kind of blocked off by his defender there uh, so it wasn't exactly too much he could do about it, but maybe made a, could have made a little bit better effort. Raul Jimenez down to Diego Costa. Diego Costa out to Mateus Nunez. We're going to slide in with Holding, and he makes an insane tackle. Not exactly something you see Holding do every day. Fabio Vieira dropping in deep here. We're going to try to find... It's going more towards Jorginho there, but... We turn it over. Raul Jimenez ends up getting a shot on Ramsdale, but again, pretty comfortable save. Diego Costa, poor pass out to Neto, but somehow still ends up with it. And now Diego Costa is pushing forward. Givior makes a great challenge on him. But luckily, Ramsdale is there to save. And that is the end of the first half. Up 1-0. Just need to hold on to this lead for the rest of the game. If we can add one or two more, that would obviously be ideal. But Emil Smith Rowe with the volley into the right side of the net gives us the 1-0 lead. Mateus, Nun Mateus Cunha. It's trying to trying to set up this team for a shot. He's able to, but the shot is on to Ramsdale, and he is able to make a pretty decent save on it. Cross in here. Nelson, is that is not where we need you to put a header in our own box. Ball still falls kindly to the Wolves player there. I couldn't see who it was. Unfortunately, Tommy Yasu just passes it out of bounds. Throw in here to Nunez. And he crosses it in perfectly. And holding or Kiwi or is nowhere to be found. It's 12. Is that Cunha? I believe that's Cunha. Yeah, he just steps up in front of Tierney. Tierney does nothing there. Uh, steps back, actually. And Kiwi or doesn't put a foot on the ball across. So, wide open net for him. Pretty hard to miss that one. Doesn't really help whenever they're already back. Tierney is going to be inside here doing Ketia. Ketia is going to make a turn. He's going to shoot, but it is blocked. Took a little bit too long on the ball there. We're going to cross it in. Looking for Kiwior here towards the back post. He's able to get ahead on it, and it just goes wide right of the post. Not a bad effort, but could have been just a little bit better. Little kick. Holding's able to get ahead onto it. Mil Smith Rowe might be able to find Nketiah through here. He is able to. Nketiah is going to have to go with his weak foot. Never going to go past Jose Saw there with his weak foot. Ball was, that ball was supposed to go to Emil Smith Rowe so we could set up for the Martinelli through ball, but if you are making an excellent tackle, holding again, making an excellent tackle as well. I'm going to kick this one out. Able to get it to Smith Rowe and down here to Martinelli. That be over here is able to come up with that ball and we actually are in a good spot here. We're going to cross it in low to Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe is able to get to it and he gets a shot on goal, but Jose Saw makes an excellent save. Gonna look inside to Martinelli here. Make that run, Smith Rowe. Not gonna be able to get it to him, but we are getting it to here, here to Tierney. Nketiah, Smith Rowe, 
with the shot and he puts it just wide of the post. Oh man, that is a heartbreaker. Easily one of the best chances we've had all game and he puts it wide. We need the ball back here pretty quickly for us to even have another chance. And it doesn't look like we're going to be able to. If you are unable to clear the ball. Mateus Nunez passes it to Cunha. Please tell me he's offsides. He is not offsides. I suppose that's what we get for having holding in the back because he let Mateus Cunha run right past him into goal. Ramsdale has to be furious at this. Watch holding. Just just stands there and lets Cunha run right past him. Does not mark him whatsoever. And Cunha again has almost a free net just because there's not much Ramsdale can do about that. A 2-1 defeat here against Wolves will be the end result. Final kick of the game and referee blows the whistle. And we are going home with a loss. That game sees us down into sixth place in the league. Only one spot ahead of Wolves actually, so they are having a good season. But nonetheless, that is not what you want to see whenever we have Manchester City coming up here in three days. And now we have to go. We are going back home actually uh, to play Manchester City, but that is definitely not a boost to our confidence. Um, it, if anything, that's going to hurt our confidence going into this game against a team that is up in second place, I believe, as of right now. Nottingham Forest actually in third place as well, which is insane. Uh, Manchester United still going for that invincible season. 11 wins out of 14 games, still three draws. Seven points clear of Manchester City and 12 points clear of third place as of right now. But we really got to step it up. Five losses in 14 games is is just unacceptable. We can't, we can't keep up with this pace. We have to stop losing. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the game against Manchester. City. We're going to be starting our, our full 11 against uh, Manchester City here, so let's go ahead and get right to it. All right, we are starting our strongest 11, uh, minus Jorginho, and Partey's out for injury still, of course. We're starting Granit Xhaka in that holding midfield role with Odegaard and Trossard in front of him, giving Jorginho a little bit of a rest because he is just a bit tired. This is what Manchester City's looking like. Probably their strongest 11. Bernardo Silva and De Bruyne and Rodri in midfield with Alvarez, Holland, and Foden ahead of them. Enrique, Diaz, Kanji, and John Stones in the back with Ederson and goal. Very strong team. This is going to be a very tough competition for us, but let's go ahead and get into it. Martinelli already making a good move past John Stones here. Not a lot to look for. We're going to try to hit it back post to Bakayo Saka making a run back there, but unable to get it past Ederson, and he's able to collect. Xhaka down here to Trossard. Trossard to Jesus. Jesus with a fantastic turn shot, and he gets it past Ederson. Five minutes into the game, we are already up 1-0 on Manchester City. And the main man himself, the former Manchester City player, Gabby Jesus, is the man with the goal. What a fantastic turn this is, and what a fantastic shot it is, almost from the edge of the box. And he's able to get it past Ederson just barely. And Pep is not happy about that at all. This was, this, this was the first season Gabby Jesus has been at Arsenal after he left Man City. And he is regretting that decision as of right now. Martinelli with a fantastic ball into Trossard. Trossard making a pretty good run forward. We're going to look to the back post here. Might be able to find Bakayo Saka. Tries to go for an acrobatic shot to say the least, but uh, is unable to get it on target. Pretty far and a very, very bad tackle on Jesus in the middle of the field, but ref plays advantage. Martinelli is pushing forward here down the edge of the box. He's able to cut it back into Trossard. Trossard shoots and he scores past Ederson. Arsenal up 2 nothing. Take that, Pep. We take your players, then we take your bitch, and then we beat you on the pitch. Yeah, I'm trying to rhyme. I'm trying to rap. Yeah. Alvarez pushing forward here. Holland making a run, but he does not get the ball. Alvarez takes a shot. Ramsdale has to make a pretty good save. Was a pretty solid shot by Alvarez. Bernardo Silva rushing to take this uh, corner here in the 27th minute. They do win the header there off the corner, but Ramsdale collects. Trying to work it around John Stones. Does able is able to make it past him. We're gonna look for Bukayo Sack on the edge. He runs into Ederson. So it probably would not have been a goal if Ederson fell into the goal. Slots it into Holland, who looks off sides. Alvarez takes a shot. Ramsdale with a nice save. And it doesn't go out for a corner, and we're able to retain it. But the pass is intercepted by Saliba. He'll hit it up to Martin Odegaard, and that'll be the end of the first half. The Arsenal, two. Manchester City, zero. We've got Caio Henrique out here on the wing. He slots it to Erling Holland, who is making a pretty good run out here to the edge of the box. He finds Foden. Foden takes an insane touch to bring it down, and no no Arsenal player was near it. And he slots it past Aaron Ramsdale with ease. Nobody marking Foden on that run into the box at all. Our midfielders are just standing there watching him. 
And Ramsdale has very little chance to make a save there. Makes an interception, turns it over immediately, but we get it back. Martinelli's going to look for Trossard through here. Trossard's going to have to be on his weak foot, but he shoots it, and he slots it past Ederson yet again. What a powerful shot by his with his left foot. And these are just the kind of chances you have to make if you want to beat Man City, and there's not much that Ederson can do there. What a powerful shot into the far post by Trossard. Bernardo Silva might be through here. He shoots it with the outside of his foot and slots it past Ramsdale. Tried to do a little bit of an offside trap there, but the pass that Alvarez made was much better than the one I thought he could make. Ramsdale maybe should have done a little bit better there, but it's back to 3-2. Gabby makes a fantastic tackle on Holland, but Holland somehow still ends up with it. He's going to shoot, and he sails it over the crossbar. Very lucky that that wasn't on target. We're now going to be taking off Gabby Jesus for Enketia, and we're going to take off Trossard and move Xhaka into his role and replace him with Jorginho. Stones is pushing down the right side there as Zinchenko makes the tackle, but it is out for a corner. Do we need to bring anybody in? We will bring Tierney in for Zinchenko. I feel like that is a good substitution to make here. Tierney a little bit more defensive than Zinchenko. Also is going to have more fresh legs. Alvarez makes a move on Xhaka, gets past him. Ruben Diaz, back to De Bruyne, back to Ruben Diaz. He is not who you want in the box. Takes a shot and it is well wide of the post. We are very okay with having him take the shot there instead of anybody else. Ben White to Bukayo Saka. Bukayo Saka touches it inside and makes it past Ruben Diaz. We are just going to keep going. Gets it in here to Xhaka. Xhaka to Nketiah. Nketiah doesn't get a shot off, unfortunately. Right side of the field. He's cutting inside. Still just kind of moseying around. Gabriel makes an excellent tackle. He tries to get it to Martinelli and turns it over. But Martinelli is able to make a tackle. We're going to drive in here. Maybe just look for Bukayo Sack on the edge of the box. Down to Odegaard. Odegaard tries to get a shot off. Blocked by Akanji. We get a 3-2 win over Man City. Comfortable at times. Not comfortable at other times. But Mikel Arteta with the win over Pep Guardiola here. And that is going to give us a huge, huge confidence boost for the rest of the season. Especially after that Wolves game where we lost very late on. It is nice to see us back in the win column. And that will be the final played game here of today's episode. That puts us back into fifth place in the league. We are tied with Chelsea on points, but they have a better goal difference. One point behind Liverpool. Three behind Man City. Behind Manchester United. But that'll change hopefully by the end of the season. We will simulate this final game of the episode. We are through to the knockout stages in the Europa League, so let's go ahead and simp in this game against FC Zurich and see if we can get a win. We do, two to nothing. We'll go check out and see if that puts us in the first place. That actually does put us in the first place in the group as well, so we will be advancing to the knockout stages in the in the Europa League as a first place team in their group. That is a perfect way to cap off this episode, a win against Man City and a win in the Europa League, moving on as a first place team. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. If you've made it this far, you might as well leave a comment. Let me know how you felt about the video. Again, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys next time.